In this video, we'll look at whether HCl is a strong or weak acid. This is hydrochloric acid. First thing we notice is we have this hydrogen here in front of the compound. That tells us it's probably going to be an acid. One way to do this is just to memorize the common strong acids and strong bases, which is something I recommend you do. I'd probably also add HClO3 to our list here. So if you memorize this and it's not on the list, at least in general chemistry, it's not going to be a strong acid. It'll be a weak acid. And if we look for HCl, it's right here, hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. So we know that it's a strong acid. What that means is if we put hydrochloric acid in water, it's going to dissociate fully. It's going to break apart into its ions. So that means the hydrogen and the chlorine here will have these hydrogen ions. They'll all be separate. And then the chloride ions, they'll be separate. It's dissociated fully. With something like a weak acid, it'll only partially dissociate. So for hydrofluoric acid, some of the hydrogen ions, they'll break apart, but most of them are going to stay connected with the fluorine, stay bonded there. So it only partially dissociates in water. Since hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, it'll fully dissociate. One way we can measure the strength of an acid is look at pKa. So if the pKa is less than zero, it's going to be a strong acid. It's going to fully dissociate. For HCl, the pKa here, that's minus six. So minus 6.0, that's less than zero. Hydrochloric acid, strong acid, fully dissociates into its ions. This is Dr. B discussing the strength of HCl. It's a strong acid. We could also say it's a strong electrolyte. Thanks for watching.